In this video, we're going to discuss the 1877 Indian Head Scent. One of the Indian Head Scents that I feature in this video actually has a backstory, and the person who owns it actually requested that I do a video on that coin to prevent the same thing from happening to somebody else. So, stay tuned. <laughs> When I do videos like this and I point out people selling fakes and overpriced coins, you know I hear a lot about capitalism. I hear a lot of debates or at least comments about this being buyer beware, a fool born every minute, or they're stupid or whatever. You know, this isn't about somebody buying it, okay? Because that's not the only reason I do these videos. I also do these videos so that I can warn people who have been left these coins. There are so many family members being left coins that were purchased from overpriced sellers or overpriced uh, dealerships or because they were fakes. You know, people don't always know. So basically, you want to call the person a fool who bought it, but what about the person who's left the coin and doesn't know anything about coins and thinks they've got a windfall? This is the reason I do these videos. It hurts other people. It's not just about the person who's buying it. So, thanks for watching my latest video. And I'm Daniel with Coin Help You. Please hit the subscribe button with the little bell. And like, share, and comment. Get the word out on these videos. Get the word out on this coin. So, we're going to get started. Okay, here's the backstory. I got a message from somebody who joined my forum. And they posted, actually private messaged me an image of an 1877 Indian Head scent. Now, the 1877 Indian Head scents, business strikes, the authentic business strikes, have a weak N in one on the reverse. That's one of the ways to tell if a coin is authentic or not. And here's a, I'll show you an image of it. Right here is the reverse. As you can see, the N is weak. Now, since this coin didn't have a weak end and kind of looked a little proof-like. They automatically thought, well, then it's got to be a proof. And that's what they wanted to know. Now, the one thing about this is, is that this person didn't buy this coin. This person was left this coin by a loved one. Okay, So they acquired it thinking that they were getting something good and they had something good. And it turned out that it was fake. Now, I'll show you here. posted all these pictures of the coin. And at first glance, the coin looks pretty good. But then when you go down through and you start comparing and, and looking at the details, then you see that this coin is most certainly a fake. Now I'm going to show you what I do when I'm going to authenticate a coin. The first thing, go to Heritage Coin Auctions and find an image that matches the grade of your coin. You can come over here on the left-hand side and it has the grades, you can pick the grades, you can pick the proofs. You can go in, click on the image, and you can, you got to sign in, as always, to see the high res uh, resolution images and also to see the values. And once you do all of that, then you have access to a, a very large database of authentic coins. And you can look at them and you can bring them up. And you can expand them and you can see the different details. And you can match them with your coin. Put your coin up to the screen. Another thing that I do, and I'm going to show you here, is that you can take, and these are the two coins. The coin right here on the right-hand side is the fake coin that he posted in the group. The other coin on the left-hand side is an actual proof. Okay, It's authentic. And you can come in and you can look at the different details on the coins. And you can tell if you look really close that the strike's not for a proof. Proofs were never struck with weak letters, weak liberty, uh, just weak overall designs. The denticles are not correct. The dates don't match up. Not even the holes in the eights. And that's one of the things that they were having trouble with as far as identifying it. Uh, wanted, they wanted it to be something. And that's another problem. When you want something to be real or you want it to be something, it's very difficult to accept the fact that it's just not real and it's just not worth anything. You know, another thing that I do, and I play around with, with this a lot because I like Photoshop, and I use some Photoshop here to show you this, 
is that you can actually do different things with Photoshop to kind of give yourself a better idea of exactly what you're looking at. And I can use the selection tool, I can move part of the head over, and I can try to match it up. And it's not going to match exactly. No matter how I do it, it's going to be off somewhere when I try to match it. That tells me a lot of things. It tells me it's fake for one thing. But another thing that I can do, it puts it really close to the letters. I can look at the L. The L's not even doesn't, doesn't look struck on the fake coin. And, you know, when you look at the lips, the lips are a little bit different shape. You know, you've got the authentic one here, overlay, and you can just pretty much tell that it's just not a real coin. Okay, it's just not authentic. It was a fake counterfeit. Then you come over here and look at the date, and I actually will select and copy and paste them together so that I can see the holes in the eight. I can see that it's flatter at the bottom. It's not the same font. It's, it's not an authentic coin. I mean, the shape's just not there. There's no way to say that this coin is possibly another die pair or anything like that. That was the argument that was kind of thrown at me. It's just not. They don't look like that. And they, you know, that's one of the things that people have to realize, you know, if you learn Photoshop is going to save you a bunch of money because you can actually bring up coins like this and you can copy and paste and you can put them together and you, uh, just like any pro or anybody that's looking at these coins and you'll be able to identify them and be able to tell if they're fake. You know, it helps if you have a large image. It helps if the images are clear. And that's another thing when you're posting these coins in groups and things like that. Post cropped clear images. That way we can look at the coin and we can say, hey, you know, that coin's fake. You know, there's a lot of fakes out there. And, you know, one of the things that people do, and like I've shown you before, uh, this one's on eCrater. Uh, if you type in 18, by 1877 Indian cent, and you'll see a lot of them that are fake here. But, you know, this one is kind of comparable to it. This is going to fool a lot of people. This one right here will fool people. Even though, you know, people say that you should know better, you should be able to look. But what if you're left this coin and you don't know coins? And you're thinking, well, this person knew coins, so they left me something good. You know, now I'm going to cash in. Well, that happens so many times and you're not going to be able to cash in on a fake coin. So anyways, I hope this helped you uh, with 1877 Indian head cents. You can do the same thing with the 09S, which is another date that can be faked a lot. But all Indian cents can be faked. I mean, it, I can prove it because all you have to do is type an Indian cent. You just take out the 1877 in the search here and just type in Indian head cent. You, you know, you can find all kinds of them for sale and you're going to find all kinds of, of fakes. And you don't know coins very well then you're going to end up buying a fake. And here's another one. You know, you don't even know if some of these that look real in the images whether they're fake or not because they could just took images of random coins. So you just it is a buyer beware. You know, you don't want to fall into this kind of thing just because you want one. And if you get left one, then this is what you want to do. You most certainly want to look it up here and do the comparison images. So anyways, thanks for watching my latest video. And as I said, please like, share, and comment. Get the word out to help people. And have a great day.